Hey guys, do you know where we are? Can you guess the place? It was a beautiful sunny Saturday and we decided to come here. We are at the Jawaharlal Nehru Planetarium. Welcome back to my channel Catch Up with Maths. Now as a child I never could visit a planetarium. Uh, I don't know why I really didn't come here but uh, this time I didn't want it uh, my daughter to miss this opportunity so we decided to come here. In fact we had booked the tickets online and this is what the website shows. Since it was a weekend we booked for two uh, two shows one was the solar system and the other was the worlds um beyond um which was at 10:30 and 12:30 respectively so you can book uh, according to your needs and this was the first picture that i took as soon as we got down from the car in fact we were pretty early we were there at almost 9:15 and as you see this is a science park uh, just opposite the planetarium which is inside the campus itself uh, but it usually will be very crowded but when we came here since we were very early it was not really crowded and my daughter totally enjoyed her time here uh, going around the park now if you're booking only for one show then uh, the approximate time that you would need to go around the park and the show would be around 2 uh, to 3 hours but if you're booking for two shows um, say at 10:30 and 12:30 then you would need uh, almost half a day of time here uh, that you would need to spend and uh, what i would recommend is that you people book two shows uh since you're going this far um it should be worth a visit and uh, it would be a good half day trip um you know that you can enjoy with your child in this park and the auditorium itself where you get to see two different shows which are definitely um different from each other uh it would be approximately i think one show was around uh um half an hour or 40 minutes i don't remember the exact time and the other show was for uh, uh, close to 1 hour so that's how it is it's better to book the show uh, through their website otherwise you need to be half an hour um early to take tickets across the counter before this show starts and uh, some of these physics experiments the details of which are actually given on these boards they do work and my father tried out and he was surprised that it actually was working so it would be fun for the kids to try different activities in this uh, park here it's a pretty uh, you know huge park which is there here a science park basically and uh, it's just opposite the planetarium and uh, this is how it looks from outside kids uh, above 10 years of age can definitely relate to whatever has been taught at school for them and uh, see that is the auditorium the entrance inside um, the planetarium and that's the exit from where people are coming so it's a it was a very good uh, place to spend time of course in fact a lot of them uh where in the working condition but my only suggestion would be uh, you know some of them uh, were not in the working condition and uh, some you know the um the display boards were a little damaged and uh, you know i would suggest or it can be taken as a feedback for the authorities through this a uh, video i would like to tell them that such a nice place um it leads uh, it needs a little maintenance and it would be great if uh, certain things can be restored and maintained in a better condition i have also visited the chennai planetarium you know when i was in my high school uh, long back and they did not have a science park then um i'm not sure what it is uh, today well you people can let me know in the comment section about the chennai planetarium if at all you have visited you know this place is definitely recommended for kids um this is a place which a kids uh, you know they have to visit um and uh, you know the footfall would definitely be more if it is well maintained so 
um, all the authorities who are uh, responsible for the maintenance of this planetarium i would only suggest that a few things in the science park has to be uh, you know little improvised uh, i would give uh, say anywhere between 7.5 to 8 out of 10 for this science park here opposite the planetarium again do tell me in the comment section how would you rate this planetarium if at all you have visited or you plan to visit i would be very happy to read your comments Okay, now talking about the food, uh, nothing is actually allowed inside the planetarium, inside the, um, the sky theater uh, where you get to see the shows. But uh, within the premises, there is a small um, condiment store uh, where you get ice cream, samosas and biscuits and stuff like that. But otherwise, you don't get any food inside the premises. So after the first show, we just came out, there were a few street vendors, so we bought a few snacks and we just had. And then again, we were roaming across the science park. There were so many things to go through, read and try to experiment. It was a very fun, um, you know, place. I I'm sure kids get to learn a lot of things. I highly recommend this place to all you parents with kids above 10 years of age do visit a must visit place the sky theater that is located inside the planetarium is one of the major attractions here and it can accommodate around uh, 200 plus people and it has a wide dome which is almost 15 meters in length and apart from these shows, a lot of other, uh, you know, events also take place at these venue here. Details of all the upcoming events are updated in their websites, so you can check out. Now, inside the planetarium, you see this model of telescope and there are a lot of posters uh, depicting, you know, a lot of events that take place in our solar system our uh, galaxies the black hole the supernova and you know i think this is also a place which needs a lot of time because you need to go through and read some of them at least which interests you and there is this weighing machine which tells you uh, the weight of you uh, in on different planets and uh, honestly i felt i should have been on mars Hmm, which way is the east and also don't forget to visit the laboratory which has the real refractor telescope um, we never got a chance due to covid but i guess now they do allow so don't forget to visit there were some of these real meteoroids which they had kept for display which is really a unique one and uh, this was the only photo which i took inside the sky theater because photographies were not allowed inside. Both the shows were extremely good. A big thumbs up. There is also a small science kiosk that is there uh, within the premises where you can actually buy uh, the science kits, astro photos and other books related to all these astrophysics and astronomy. Okay, so it was time for us to head back home after spending a very quality, very knowledgeable half day at this planetarium. See you all soon in my next. Till then, take care and bye-bye and thank you so much for watching.